Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Good evening. It's a lovely June evening. Uh, it's very summery. Nice and warm. Nice evening on the bunnies with the uh, GSX 200 in 2.2. The PAR 008, um, it's the LRF version, as same as the last video. Um, I'm out on the rabbits tonight again, we're causing a bit of a problem now. Here, um, I've moved to a different area than where I was last week. Uh, they've been digging under a bit of a patio paving area, which you'll see next, uh, causing a bit of mayhem. So, uh, just need to thin them out a bit. I'm shooting along a hedge line down there so they could come out at any distance so I've just set out a um, target box and done 50 40 30 20 and 10 yards um, checking my holdovers because they could come out anywhere along that line um, using the rangefinder I'll ping them so hopefully we'll do all right and get a few try and stop the damage uh, okay, see how we get on, and I'll speak to you soon. I just thought I'd take the uh, camera along just to show you the damage they've been doing. They've been sort of living in this patio area that's got a large flower bed, and obviously that's their passageway through to the grass area where I'm shooting. Um, the landowners actually cordoned off some of it. Um, has uh, started to undermine it and um, obviously it's a hazard if people step down there because they have sort of um, receptions and stuff there occasionally uh, and as you can see look the tunneling under uh, to get to the grass so uh, it's time to um, thin the numbers first one about 30 yards A slight breeze but nothing too much to worry about did a few test shots it didn't seem to affect much just giving it a little bit for the breeze first one I was a bit worried it wasn't as clean as shot as I would have liked because of the kick in but they are young ones and they do tend to do that so just reload ready for um, possibility of a second shot if it needs it but there it ends. And it's over. Next one. About 40 yards, which is about zero, or is zero. Just getting it. At had 42 so slightly over a little bit of hold over not much but it's 2 2 so it'll dip a little bit but this time just give it a bit too much hold over the pellet just skims over his head but thankfully it lingers gives me another chance moved a little bit so about 45 yards just there bit of bouncing around and it's all over next one's a little bit closer it tended to be a, a good place to sit in the end so this is the passageway that I showed you at the end of that video where I showed you the patio. Sort of this was their transition from the patio to the grass. So I'm not taking my time, I'm just having a mental blank about how far 15 yards on the holdovers was. <laughs> so uh, it looks like I got it right. Just wanted to make sure before I pulled the trigger. Now that one actually dropped in the little hole. Uh, where the transition through so I did actually get up 
and go and get that one and take it out because I thought it might stop them coming through if they come across a dead body. So I went and fished that out of the hole and brought it back to where I was shooting, which probably proved to be a wise idea actually. The others are just left on the grass. This one's 22 yards, a straightforward kill. Just sit and wait to see if that other one comes back out. He's probably just sat the other side of the fence, wondering what's happened to his mate. Give him a minute or two, but when he decides he's going to bottle it, but I'm pretty sure he comes back. I don't recognise the face. This one looks a bit smaller, but it'll do anyway. Once again, 16 yards. Quite straightforward shot. It's all over. Just have to make sure, cover them, make sure they don't get back up. And a bit of bounce, and then it's all done. I'm just keeping an eye out now for another one coming out. Which it does very shortly. This was possibly that second one that darted back in before. A nice straightforward one there, that distance. But it is pest control, so no need for fancy shooting. Just get it done. As you can see with the damage, it's purely about getting the numbers down. I've had a walk around this quite a few areas where this warren seem to have um, increased in numbers quite a lot but it always looks worse at this time of year because obviously a lot of young ones flying about makes it look like there's more. So uh, next time out I'll be trying a different place. I've already spotted where I'm going to go. As you can see this one's just half out. See actually the natural rabbit camouflage is pretty good. Um, first glance you wouldn't notice if it didn't move. I did actually think I'd missed this one. I saw the dust kick up. And I didn't know whether I'd skimmed it with the pellet but I think the dust was from its front claws because um, that was just inside the hole again like the other one when I went over. And then last ones just before 10 o'clock and it's still light. These pair as you can see, they've both got myxomatosis, very early stages of it. You can tell by the eyes. Starting to close up. And you'll see the scratching. So, chances are they wouldn't have made it anyway over the next week or two. And as it's pest control, they've all got to go. So... Luckily the second one doesn't run. Just 15 yards away and it's all over. See the body stacking up now on the grass. Just to make sure there's no others coming out. And that was from between just after 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock. So in two hours that wasn't too bad at all. So there's nine varying ages. That's got to put a dent in them even for a short while. As you can see six young ones, three adults. And the GSX with its 2-2 RS pellets. Okay if you enjoyed that like, subscribe and share. Until next time, bye for now.